Hey, what's going on everybody? And, and another morning to y'all and let's live in Florida. Uh, today has got a little bit of um, overcast today, so it's not all that sunny like it was uh, yesterday when I did some reviews and everything. So today we're gonna be doing a review on one of my buddy's e-bikes. Uh, he has two of them. He just brought this one uh, not too long ago. So we just did an unboxing everything. And it's a 20 inch fire tire bike. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna do a review right quick and uh, see what's all come with it and and let you know what's, what it's all about. All right, here we go. So this is the 20, 20 inch fire tire e-bike. Uh, we brought, he brought this from Amazon and I think he paid about 800 bucks or so for it. And it's a Cheetah Sport e-bike, as you can see. <clears throat> And it has, uh, and I believe these have um, 160 rotors, millimeter rotors, uh, cable action weighted brakes. So it is the Eco Trick uh, brake caliber. So we got those in the rear and in the, um, in the front. All right, so we're gonna focus on the rear. So, and back in the back of the e bike, we have a 500 watt rear hub motor, and this is a geared hub motor. So it's gonna be good for torque when going up hills and everything. Um, not like it's a, a direct drive hub motor where it's gonna be bogging a little bit, especially when you come to your low, low power up wattage hub motors. So what they did is they incorporated a planetary gear system inside this hub motor. So that way it actually multiplies the torque when you're going up hill. And what's good, what's good about this, these hub motors is that when you stop accelerating it has a clutch in it, so when you stop inserting everything, that motor doesn't keep, or the um, the magnets doesn't have resistance because the motor is stopping it and it's going to um, make it free will, as you can say. So, so that's one good thing about these hub these hub motors, these type right here, is that when you pedaling, you don't feel that resistance of a big, big, powerful hub motor. So, this is good for a community. So here we have a unique Dorella right here. It's, uh, it's a Shimano. And this Shimano uh, 20 derailleur. Um, it's pretty much a your typical derailleur, but I noticed that the uh, it's a little bit shorter. Uh, the gear select, the mechanism right there is a little bit shorter than uh, your typical derailleur. And this one has a unique pulley system that I just saw. Very interesting. Now, th this is my first time seeing one like this. Now, usually your derailleur just have just a cable and it goes into the rail itself and then it pulls it right or left to make your, your gear changes uh, however you, you know what I'm saying you see fit. But that is a real interesting setup, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm really curious of how that's gonna work and everything. So here we are, here is the battery. And we're gonna go that, down here and look at the specs of it. And it is your 36 volt battery, 12.5 amp hours. So it's gonna, so, even though it's a low amp hour battery, uh, matched to a decent controller, it's gonna it's still gonna give you a good range. So you don't have to worry about it because it's a low amp hour battery. Uh, doesn't mean that you're gonna have less range. Um, when you pair this up with a, a decent controller, it doesn't pull a lot of amps. You're gonna get that range and it's not gonna be a strain on your battery, okay? So, <clears throat> now to activate this battery, um, there's a key. I have the key right here, so you put the key in and you turn it on and that's what activates the battery to power up the uh, controller that's um, down here in this base. And what's so good about having a uh, pre-built bike is that the um, the cable management is more, it's more uh, significant than when you can and then when you do a DIY bike, now of course you can you can have your cabin management down to a minimal, just like you can with a, a pre-built e-bike. But it's just uh, more of a cable management uh, with a pre-built one. So the key is on, and then now to unlock this thing, you have to turn all the way. You push it, and you turn all the way to the to the left, and then that what um, unlocks it. And then you get this handle, you pull up. Now, in order to take this battery out, you have to undo your whole seat post. And then you take the whole seat post off, and then this battery slides out, and it has a little um, a little slide 
that you can see right here <clears throat> it's about right here that's that's a little uh, slide right here where this battery slides in like a drawer as you can see so so that's the battery right there and we're gonna be doing a uh, a little rod session in, in a few minutes so the tires I really don't know what uh, what kind of brand they are I know they're the uh, 20 by 4 inch tires and it look like they'll seem to be good for like you know a little bit of light off-road use and some community roofs now now uh, these tires will make a lot more noise than uh, the 2.6s that's on my bike so just be aware of that so up here in the front you have a your basic 810 display it's a um, LCD display now this is kind of like the same one that was on my son's e-bike kids display but he had a little bit more buttons I think he had a light button that was around it around here at the top um, now this is what I was talking about about actually having a pre-built bike also because you can get a basic display where you can just turn it on and off you got your power mode levels mode medium and high here's your battery indicator uh, here's your six kilometer walk so you press and hold that and this bike will actually assist you like up the hill that way you can walk behind it um, you also have some, some leather grips now I don't know this is don't they don't feel decent um, it feel okay but I don't think it's real leather so but <clears throat> so and on the on the right you have a like a Mickey Mouse type I that's what they call it anyways but this is a um, this is not like the trigger shifter that I have. I do prefer trigger shifters. That's on my bike and e-bikes kids uh, bike. But these right here is an exception to a twist shifter. So I'd rather have this than a twist shifter. That, in, in my opinion. And over, over here, the far right, we have your twist. Um, you have twist throttle. So I think this is more suitable for when you uh, ride on bumpy situations. Where if you have a whole throttle, uh, sometimes you, you can um, accidentally twist a little bit. And, and and be an unexpected acceleration um, I mean I'm kind of comparing this to my bike if we you hit some rough stuff and you actually hit the throttle and it'll kind of sing you like whoosh, like way way to the moon somewhere like that so um, this is like some type of um this throttle setup is more like for people that I mean that just want to do some casual riding and they don't want to actually any uh, twist the throttle while they on doing some bumps or anything or going through a speed bump so <clears throat> This is how to recommend to people that um, that's not um, <clears throat> familiar with e-bikes in general. So this is like some sort of a beginner's type throttle right here. This is also a folding bike. So um, to fold this up, you actually have to press, um, you have to um, undo your latch right here. And once you do that, I can't really, I can't really um, do it for y'all because I've got the camera in one hand and you know, I'm trying to film it. so. But you undo this latch right here, and then you undo the uh, handlebars. I can do this with one hand, so let me show you. And then the handlebars will fold down, so you can actually can can take this upstairs in your uh, apartment. Let me see. So it's kind of hard to get this latch down. Let me see. <clears throat> there we go. So I had to take a little manpower to get it down, but this is this this folds over. And this um this actually folds over down and this right here folds over to the left so it'd be more compact you can put this in the back of your car um, like I say you can throw this upstairs you can carry this upstairs into your apartment building if you live like on a, a higher floor <clears throat> and then you just press it to close it and right down here at the crank you do have your pedal assist sensor which is mounted right here this is more enclosed um, you you see most of the pedal assist sensors just have the sensor by bare bones to where you can actually can see the sensor and then and uh what's crazy about them sometimes you might can actually hit those with your feet and you can actually break that sensor off but in this case it's actually enclosed inside a uh, case and the seat last but not least the seat um this is actually have a suspension seat post and this is actually a i'm gonna bring it up for you this is an exo form seat so uh seat post is a suspension seat post um, I have a dropper post on my bike and it's made by the same same company so I'm really eager to see how this performs off-road all right so here we are I got my camera and everything ready to go so we're gonna go ahead and put the key on in here turn it on 
and we're going to see so we got almost decent battery so it's almost full i know they've been written everything so we're gonna so and uh first first thing first is i can notice that the uh, seat post is actually pretty good pretty pretty good i'm already liking the, the suspension seat post okay so that's a lot better so let me go and get this camera adjusted just a little bit so that way y'all can see it so i'm going to turn it on okay battery indicator says full so we're going to start from low mode and so let's go ahead and start the pedal So this is in low power settings and um, right off rip, just going over the small bumps with that sus suspension seat post, it actually feels really good and it takes a lot of that, a lot of that jarring off your back. And, and you know you have when you, when you come home and you're going over small um, big bumps with that heavy, uh, with, a, with a decent heavy motor in the back of your um, e-bike and you don't have a suspension seat post. It, 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 it kind of mess with you when you get out when you get off that e-bike and sit down you be like oh man my back is killing me so that suspension seat post really does help especially when you're getting old like me and having back problems you're going to definitely want to invest in your nice seat post or your um grab this e-bike just because of the seat post so i noticed that one thing about this display this is very very different from my son's display um, like I say, he had the same one, but I think that was, this was a, um, a higher tier model because when you pedaling, when you actually pedaling and then uh, the pedal assist actually kicking in, it has a low setting, the lowest setting possible speed limit. And then when you actually hit the gas, it overrides that. And uh, it never, and my son's only doesn't do that. Once you're in low setting, it stays in low setting. And when you when you um hit the throttle on it, it actually stays in low setting also. So we're gonna go ahead and kick it up to high mode because <clears throat> all right, let's go on down here. Oh man, that seat post is good. Now don't get me wrong now. Now it has it has decent speed now to to do everyday commuting. So it's not like it's really slow like you know uh, some of those uh let's see if I can name a few like uh the the Hyper City the Hyper City bike um some of those uh the low wattage like the 250 watt mode um power e-bikes where they they only does like 15. I'm going to give you one example. I have brought my son an e-bike from a, from a, a place called MDG. They're like a, a lease to own type company. And it was a rock shock e-bike and it, that thing only did like 15 miles an hour, but it had a 350 watt hub mode on it. All right, how you doing? But this one, this, this one on the other hand, it feels a lot, lot torquier. It feels a lot more, a lot more powerful than a 350 watt hub motor. Like I say, this one's actually, now when you pedal this bad boy in hot mode, you really got to, there we go. So you're gonna get you a good workout. Yeah, so the display is very different. It actually overrides the settings that you have. If you go on low, medium, high, the throttle, the twist, the uh, half twist throttle actually overrides what you um, set down here. So if you're on low and you accelerate, you're gonna go in straight up in high mode as opposed to uh, my son's uh, LED display. 
Uh, I think it's a 910, I think, I uh, believe so. Uh, once you go on low and you hit the throttle, it's gonna stand low until you actually turn it up. I know, Dan, we're huh. not with no power, but I said, I might as well just turn the coat up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not with no power, where you get it at? No, this is, I'm doing a review for a buddy. Uh, he just went, he brought this from Amazon. Uh-huh. Yeah, so this is, this is a 500 watt, 500 watt um, hub motor, fat tire bike. I think it does about 20, 22 miles an hour, so it's a class two e-bike. Mm -hmm. So it's just pretty good. He brought for $800. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> he said, I can't catch you. I probably can't, but we're doing throttle only now. We're not in, in uh, there's nobody here at the park, so. It's pretty fast. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna see how this thing do up hills right quick. So we're gonna shoot up this hill. Now I do know that you have to make some adjustments because because the derailleur is not actually activating um, all seven gears in the back, so I'm gonna let him know that he's gonna need to do some adjustments to his uh, derailleur. Cause right now it's stuck in like third or fourth gear. And I'm pedaling like I'm on exercise bike, trying to get up this hill. So we're doing our uh, pedal assist right now, so we're gonna go ahead and, um, what's up? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and, um, Try to pedal this thing up the hill. I say it's doing pretty good. Damn good. Compared to the rock shot that my son had, it's doing excellent. All right, we're gonna stop right here and we're gonna cross the street. We're gonna go ahead and cross the street. All right, here we go. And look at him, he got to block the sidewalk, man. Ain't that something? Goddamn police blocking the sidewalk. Very nice. I thought the fat tires. I thought the fat tires gonna make it handle like kind of crazy, you know. But then this actually handles pretty good. I'm I'm pretty satisfied. Cause see, I want to do a fat tire build too, but it's gonna be a um a high power build setup. And my son wants to do one too, so we're gonna go ahead and do a 24 inch fat tire e bike build for him. And I think I'm going with a 26 or a 27.5. I'm not sure yet. Not sure what I want to do as far as it goes, but I got a long time for that to even come. But man, if anybody wants, uh, any one of y'all looking to purchase this e-bike, I will have the link in the description to where you can go and get this e-bike. And I think it's super cheap. And it, this right here does the job now. Now upon riding this thing, I will recommend y'all to go ahead and get a, uh, a better, a more comfortable seat because this seat is a little hard. It's harder than my boat regular seat that I have on my e-bike, and it's not even nowhere near as wide as um this one. But I do know after a couple, couple of um a good couple of hours of riding this e-bike, you you will go to feeling your bumps, you know. So I know you don't wanna, you definitely don't wanna uh feel that harshness, and you sit down on your couch and you almost like you having hemorrhoids or something. <laughs> And like I say, man, that the 12 point, the 12.5 amp hours on this bike is it, still adequate for what you need to do. I'm, I'm, I know this grip right here will get good, good, good range. And I want to do a, a review. I want to do an uh, e-bike ride, not a review, but an e-bike ride uh, with my bike and this one. Uh, do like a range test. See how far this actually can go. 
uh, before we have to turn around and head back home and and as well as my e-bike but i just i have like almost four times as much amp hours as this one does so so it's not gonna really make any sense for that matter but yeah i'll definitely now if i if i didn't have my bike i would definitely choose this one um i i, I wish it i wish it had a front uh, suspension fork in the front to to make up for the front suspension in the rear um, this it's not a it's not a complete rear suspension but that seat post kind of acts like it you know what i mean so it does suck up the bumps as opposed to a um uh, a full suspension type um e-bike and like i say if you're not if you're not doing any uh, uh, hardcore off-road use and everything this this seat post is very very adequate it, it, it'll it'll do just fine so oh yeah so we're gonna go over the road test we're gonna test out this uh this suspension uh seat post real quick see how it does now watch out for cars i did a video of a car that was texting and everything they didn't even see me Like I say, this is a basic setup. It's very, very uh, intuitive. So, oh yeah. Wow, I didn't even feel that. Man, what a difference. I want one so bad, but it just, it just that dropper seat post is, is just so, man, I mean, you, you can stand up and pedal. It, 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 it adjusts on the fly and everything. So, but man, the, the seat post, man, it, it Man, you can ride no problem. And just that the seat, man, is very, very uncomfortable. It's gonna get very uncomfortable after a, a, a long, good day of riding. So just be aware of that. I mean, so far so good. I mean, the owner says he didn't like it. He likes his other one better, but I'm gonna do a review on that one so I can show y'all the difference between this one and the, and the uh, old one he got. Same power plant and everything, but he said that was faster, which it is because um, this running 40 volt system opposed to this uh, 36 volt battery. So, you know, I mean, you don't need no hydraulic brakes on this thing because I mean, these are uh, these calibers they work just fine. It might need a little bit more of adjustment, but other than that. Okay, let's take this off road. Let's go ahead and get in the grass with this thing. Let's see. And those tires, they help too with the with the bumps too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice, nice. Now I, I'm not my bike. You can you kind of use the motor's power to glide over the bumps, so it. Uh, if you was riding slow on my bike, you was gonna feel it. Now you don't feel it in the front, but that rear, you definitely gonna feel it because of that big, heavy motor. This one will go uphill just fine too. All right, so here we are, we're back. Back where we are. All right. All right, so there you have it, man. Uh, like I say, this is a, a Cheetah Sport. It's a 20 inch tire, uh, 20 inch fat tire bike. And like I say, I had no, really no problems, no gripes about it. Other, like I say, other than the seat, it's a little bit, it's a little bit hard for my liking. So you, uh, you might like it, but like I say, I recommend you go ahead and change the seat out. Um, there's better seats. Even at Walmart has some gel seats that you might like. So go check them out and everything. And, uh, try their gel seats out. Um, you can go to a local bike shop and and get you something a little bit more um, comfortable. But like I say, after a good long day of riding, you're gonna feel that you're gonna you're gonna feel that numbness in your butt. So so that's the only thing that I recommend. That's the only grip I have is just a seat, just a little bit, a little bit on the hard side. Other than that, um, the bike's well built. Um, we put it together um, with the instruction manual that was provided in the um, in the kit. So um nothing nothing shook off anything no vibrations so the hub motor's working good 
Now, now I'm gonna have to tell him he'll have to do some adjustments. And I think what's going on is that these um, I think the high adjustment. You see, I screwed in a little bit too in too far. So we might have to take that out a little bit, and that's what's gonna uh, put this put this fall in the high gear because it was actually stuck in this gear right here. So you have to be pedaling like a a freaking maniac just to keep up with the motor. So other than that, big crank system. Uh, that's what they help with the top speed for, so you can pedal and everything. So so anyways, yeah, this is, like I say, this is the e-bike. Um, um, just your basic type uh, fat tire e-bike build. Nothing too irrational, nothing, um, nothing too crazy. You know, something to get you to point A to point B just fine. Goes up hills just fine and everything. And uh, yeah, that's my review of this uh, Cheetah Sport uh, fat tire e-bike. Uh, like I say, um, if you want to know anything more about it, let me know and I will um, get back with you in the comments and everything and um, I will have a, a link in the description where um, the owner had got this bike and everything and um, yeah, so <clears throat> uh, basic display and everything um, it's good for people that you know what I mean, that just don't want to deal with the uh, the, the, the uh, complications of a of an LCD display or um, or anything for that fact so yeah, man, um so this is it. So, anyways, <clears throat> I'm gonna um, go for this uh, for this round, and I will be doing another view on his other bike he got in the house. And uh, and this is your boy E Bike Life, and I will see y'all the next one.